Jan Balen, the curious, ambitious chef of Hoftendammer and the driving force behind Albert Adria's R&D food revolution, who continuously seeks ways to innovate and change the gastronomy landscape for the better, teams up with Professor Dr. Paul Bourne, head of neurosciences at Ghent University Hospital, in a quest for food that stimulates the brain. Scientific data and food, you have seen it with uh, Bernard and his segment, it can go together, it really can. And we're going to uh, find something more out uh, about that okay. and see what can happen with science and food as well, because food is important for the brain. That's true, that's true, Prof. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, can you, I'm just going to add your microphone a little bit. Um, yeah, can you, can you tell us why food is so important for the brain? Well, commonly, the link between food and normal health in general, heart health, uh, health of the, the gut, is very commonly made. Right. But the link of good food, optimal food with brain health, is not so easily made. Mm -hmm. It is because people in the food business are not really thinking of the brain. And brain doctors or brain people who are involved in brain research are not very well connected to the food industry or the food uh, sector. And that is really what we would like to do, to make the link, because it's really important. Yeah, it's an interesting study, I think, no? It is, absolutely, absolutely. The brain is one of the major organs. I mean, we, we have many vital organs, but the brain is basically connecting and, and coordinating all the actions that we do, yeah. it is what we are, is basically made by our brain, right? Yeah. And during your research, have you come to a conclusion or, or a certain conclusion at this moment? What food is very important for the brain? Well, a lot of, I have to stress that a lot of work still needs to be done, but at least we do have some certainties already. We know that particular foods are very optimal for brain health. Basically, what is good for the heart is good for the brain. So anything that is known about, uh, well, positive effects on the heart is probably also doing a good job in terms of the uh, brain. But we'll, co we'll come to that when we discuss a bit of the ingredients that we well, will Well, let's do that. Yeah. Let's discuss the ingredients uh, with our chef, Rudy. Welcome. Okay. Um, yeah, tell us, you, you, you've been working together. How did that come about? Yeah, uh, we alre already know uh, for a long time how to make a, a good, tasty dish. Huh? has to be the right texture, the right uh, taste, uh, a wonderful smell. But uh, we also think, uh, is this food really good for our body? So that was the, that was the point that I discussed with, uh, with Paul. Yeah, so in, in, in this respect, science has kind of inspired you to do even better. Absolutely. And we, we, we made now a dish together. So uh, Paul told me what the, the benefits of every ingredient is. And now we can uh, make yeah. a... Yeah, a we, we have some uh, stuff on the, on the kitchen okay. table here. So tell us wha what we're looking at. We made a tartare of uh, mackerel mm -hmm. uh, with the avocado on top. Yeah. Looks tasty already, eh? yeah. Yeah, it's a, a blini with uh, smoked uh, mackerel, and then the next ingredient is uh, caviar. Maybe Paul can tell. Well, you know, if, you, if if we kind of build on that, well, basically describe the building that yeah. uh, Rudy is right is, is constructing right now. From the fundaments up to <laughs> the top, right? Well, let's start, let's start with the mackerel. It's it's one of the more fatty fishes, mm -hmm. just like uh, salmon and tuna. It is particularly rich in omega-3 uh, fatty acids, which are really known to be uh, or to exert a positive effect on on brain uh, health, and they do that by specifically. Um, inhibiting inflammation. So inflammation is the basis of many diseases of the heart and the rest of the body, but also the brain. And if you lower the likelihood of an inflammation occurring, you will promote health. So omega-3 is an anti-inflammatory, natural anti-inflammatory compound. So very important, for instance, for preventing dementia uh, or for preventing uh, um, uh, vessel disease. Right. Um, so, and that's only the mackerel. And that's that the dish. mackerel. Yeah. The avocado. Mm -hmm. It looks nice, it tastes wonderfully nice, but what it, does it contain? It is rich 
in fatty acids. So there is a bit of a misunderstanding about the avocado. People think I will eat it because I'm on a diet. It will reduce weight. It won't. Avocado is very oily. It is rich, rich in yeah. fat, but okay. it's good fat. It, it is unsaturated, mono-unsaturated fatty acids, very particularly also rich in omega-3. The uh, caviar, well, caviar is certainly not a daily food for most people. Mm -hmm. We all, well, many people like it. M maybe some people don't like uh, caviar. I don't know. I belong to the, the, to the lovers. <laughs> uh, but the particular thing about caviar, just like fatty fish, it is very rich in omega-3, but it contains high, very high amounts of choline. And choline is part of a neurotransmitter, which is basically a, a compound that makes cells communicate with each other in the brain and in the nerves in the body. And if you, you basically need that from your food, from the intake of food, because choline is not essentially made by the, by the body. So you have to have an intake. Well, if you, nobody, as, I, as I told you, Particularly, people will not eat that every day, but it's a very, very healthy uh, food. So with moderation, it would be fine. Yeah. Then the hazelnut, you, you kind I of dropped the hazelnut. The hazelnut. It's the hazelnut, hazelnut oil, oil and yes. then some hazelnuts. Well, nuts, like many seeds, are also very rich in omega-3, but what is particular there is that they contain high amounts of vitamin E. Okay. And vitamin E is one of the compounds that is so-called antioxidative. And one of the uh, mechanisms of aging, so basically the mechanism that makes our body and our organs old, is oxidation. You, you basically don't want to rust, really, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't want to oxidate. And that is why we need to increase our intake of antioxidant compounds. And vitamin E is one of these. So nuts in general are very healthy. Uh, because they contain high amounts of uh, vitamin E. Yeah. So, and this dish is really, yeah, so healthy. <laughs> you can't even describe it, right? Yes, exactly. Well, it's 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 like it's like a medication, I would say, right? <laughs> even it, even it's that. It's highly preventive for brain disease, I would say. Yeah. So that's a good one. Um, um, how inspiring has this this now been? Because yeah, you can make this dish. But I guess with the scientific data that uh, the professor gives you, you can even create more dishes than only that one. Yeah, of course. But I think we, we can't stop the, the healthy revolution anymore. And I think an uh, important uh, part of it is, is, is chefs. We have to, we have to collaborate with, uh, with the scientists, with, um, with, with the doctors, uh, to make healthier food. Because uh, I think... Past uh, past years, we have forgotten that. Have we? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Now there is there is a there is a, a changement. But before, the only thing that was important, I think maybe in the future it will be the guides like uh, Michelin or Gomio. They gave a quotation about uh, right. Yeah, the healthy a healthy quotation on the dish. Did yeah. I think young uh, certainly young people are 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 thinking about about a healthy uh, healthy as aspect of uh, and i think gastronomy has to follow in it and have to take a lead 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 by example yeah really. lead by example yes yeah um is that an easy task you think because uh, you say there's a change in mindset already yes. but has it evolved enough to be sustainable for for you as as a restaurateur as as a chef to Make that I possible? Yeah, we we have t we just have to do the job, and we have to like like I did in uh, in my business. Um, the crisis is also COVID crisis is also an opportunity. So it's already two years that I we were speaking about health healthy food, and now we 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 start up a, an, uh, a takeout with healthy 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 ingredients healthy. Healthy yeah. dishes. And for people who are just uh, tuning in, can you tell us again what's in this uh, dish right now and why is it so healthy? Yeah, why it is so healthy? Then I have to look. Well, to we'll, we'll <laughs> okay, <laughs> do we'll it together. It, we'll make it the diet. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. So first of all, is the tartare of mackerel. Very high in uh, omega-3 uh, content, so yep. unsaturated fatty uh, acids. Very healthy for. Uh, the vessels for the brain vessels, heart vessels. Uh, it's uh, it's basically an, an, a prevention of dementia and, and, and increases the health of your vessels. Yeah. 
Basque. And there was choline uh, in there as well, right? Caviar. That's the caviar. That's the caviar. Yeah. Okay. First of all, we have the layers of uh, avocado. Yeah. The avocado, oily, high calorie, but very healthy uh, fatty acids, mono unsaturated fatty acids yeah. that are very healthy again for the vascular system. And as you said, the brain is a really important part of the body, I've, I've been told. So uh, well this is a really important dish then as well. Clearly, clearly. Clearly, yeah. And then we, d on top. Yeah, we have, uh, in between there's a blini. A yeah. blini ma made with uh, smoked mackerel. And on top we have, uh, we have a thin layer of uh, uh, squeezed uh, vegetables. Yeah. And uh, on top the caviar with the uh, hazelnut. These okay. are lentils? Looks the, looks the, the toast is made of lentils? No, the, the, no. So, the sauce is uh, hazelnut oil okay. with herbs and um, this is b the beluga lentils. Yeah. So the well, black lentils. I think it's really inspiring for people who see this at home, want to try that. Think first they should drop by at your <laughs> restaurant <laughs> and they, then they can try that at home. Thank you, gentlemen, okay. for uh, your input. Thanks okay. for That's being great. here. Great.